Assuming you want to make a content page, we go to SEO, we go to articles. Okay, we are saying, I want to make a new article. I'm going to call it, I don't know, alternator specials. The URL will be alternator specials, same description, same keyword. Okay, I'm ready to design my article now. I click on body, there was an editor button, and then you say open in external browser. So that's it, here is the drag and drop place. Now you just drag and drop whatever you need. Right? Design your content page, press the save button. Once you press the save button, load it from the editor and it renders it. That's it, you're done. Press save. Let me just put the primary keyword. Too. Press save. Do you want to publish this article online now? I'm going to say no for now. So that's it. Here's your article. So 1.5 minutes on how to create an article. Okay, now once an article is created, then how would you designate that into a specific category? What I would do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to say copy the URL for this article. And you want to add it to what, the home page buttons or something? For instance, if we had a section that said alternator Subaru. Well, there's a few things you can do. So what I just did was I clicked settings, website settings. And I ended up on this screen and I'm going to say I want to go to my header and footer, right? So if you want to have articles and you want to call them, let's say, you know, information articles. And you want to always put them here. You can start creating, you know, as many articles as you need. I'm going to add a category called alternator information. And in this category, I'm going to have a single link, which will be, you know, article one and the, the URL that I just copied. If you don't remember the URL, you can also click on, see there's a little magnifying yeah, glass. Magnifying. Mm -hmm. If you click on it, you can actually click on articles and just find the article you made. So you don't need to copy that URL. It's going to populate it for you. So you just add articles into your mega menu. And that's it. You press OK and you're going to have a button called information articles. And see, like it says button one, two, three, four, five. So assuming that one of your is information articles, you just choose it here. And now you're going to have a mega menu for all your articles. If you yeah. prefer to have it on the side menu, you can put it, see like navigational links, which is your side menu. So you could put the URLs here if you want. If you prefer to just have an article with a bunch of your links in it, you could technically go to this folder here. So let me just, so this is an article that is populated from there. But if I'm going to just go to articles directly, you have your sitemap of all your articles. I just went to articles and this is the articles that are showing up in here. So it's pages and then articles. So if you want to link this article from the menu like this, these could be links to articles. Usually what happens is you tell us where you want to have the articles and you could maybe have a page which is sort of like your sitemap of all your articles and as you keep creating articles you'll just keep putting links in there. Creating the article itself, which is probably the most difficult part usually, it's all drag and drop and to access an article and actually start creating it it's like a minute to do it.